web hosting. So web hosts are simply companies that have servers out there connected to the internet 24-7, 365 days a year. And you pay these web hosts a little bit of money and they give you a bit of space on their servers for you to build your website, upload all your files and then make your website live on the internet. And there again, there are many different web hosts out there and as I said before, it's best to choose the same web host as the same person as you register your domain name with just to make the process easier later on. Although this isn't vital and it isn't too difficult to change the properties of your domain name to point it to a different web host, but it's easier if you don't have to do this. There are three main types of web hosting, namely shared web hosting, virtual private servers or VPS and dedicated servers. And if we're just starting out building our first website that's going to be small to medium size, what's, we're good enough using shared web hosting, which is the cheapest option and it's the one you should go for. And this basically means that the web host server, you have all your website files on. There's also other people who are building websites on the same server and you're all sharing the resources and that's absolutely fine, absolutely secure. You can't see anybody else's web files and they can't see yours. So it's completely the good option to go for but one potential problem with this is that if say there's a large website on the server that you're sharing with someone else and this website gets suddenly gets lots and lots of traffic and uses up lots of resources on this server then it can impact the performance of your website but this doesn't happen too often and as i said when we're starting out and even when the website grows a little bit shared web hosting is what you should go for